Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm gonna give you guys a recap on the new episode of Sokyo no Fafna, Dead Aggressor, Exodus, Sex and Season. Or you could call it like, um... Oh, right, never mind. Sorry. Anyways, I'm gonna give you guys a recap on the new episode, new episode, which is on episode 5. This episode right here, I gotta say, pretty cool. Not too bad. Um, just a couple twists here and there, which really shocked the living crack -a out of me, to my, to my surprise. But it seems like everything seems to be alright for the time being, so... Yeah, let's get started. Okay, at the beginning of the episode, after the disappearance of Canon and so forth, it seems like the entire island is trying to look for it, is trying to look for Canon, apparently. But, for the time being, like, um... It looks like... Things kinda gotten way too ugly out of hand there. There was a scene at the beginning where Kazuki has a dream about Canon talking to her, and she disappears after that. He says, it's only a dream. And I'm thinking in my mind, too bad for you that dream came true. But she did not have the time to say goodbye to you. Only in your head. Or when you're sleeping. You know? So yeah. So it shows about like Kanon. It shows a lot of people looking for Kanon. Especially her mother. And it seems like they all trying to go like, where the heck did she go or something, you know? And later on when her friends found a message of saying goodbye, they both realized that Canon has been assimilated or she disappeared because of a side effect. Apparently, we all saw that in last week's episode and that really stinks and that really hurts. I'm not gonna lie. My freaking heart was like broken to pieces, like ripped apart. Eventually, as the episode continues on with its procedures, we have to it that they are being attacked by the Festum. And we have to it that I think Orihime, that, I, that island's new leader whatsoever, warns everybody and apparently tells Minashiro, I think the other girl, which I forgot, which I've forgotten her um, other name. Apparently, she tells her that um, Kanon's, uh, Kanon did, life, Kanon's life for it did not completely disappear, but she did it for the best of what's for the island, which is understandable. Eventually, as the episode continues on with its procedures here and there, we have to it that they try to they get ready to fight the Festum. However, that freaking Festum brings in a giant tank. And that thing was called a Leviathan that was put on the map. And I'm thinking in my mind, oh my gosh, dude. Giant than a Kraken. They brought in a freaking island killer or island swallower. Apparently, it tries to swallow the entire island, and because of the Festum sending out these little termites or little small bug-like attacks, they are destroying the shield. It seems like the sky is disappearing, but for me, the way I look at it or perceive it, it looks like it's swallowing the island. So, apparently, they are being... being... eaten, if anything. That's all I can perceive it or even say. And I think one of the pilots just ends up looking at the Festum smiling with the menacing look. I'm thinking in my mind, is that thing smiling? I'm really surprised about that, you know? That kind of thing. And it ends off there and it goes back to where Kazuki and the others are going are at right now. And apparently they're trying to like um trying to take a, take care of a couple things here and there. Like grab something to fuel up their mix whatsoever. But apparently thanks to like um the abilities of Miwa and Emery, they managed to like grab a couple few, but the bad thing is they are pretty much the enemy is on the on their turf and in their territory right now. So they're trying to figure out what's going on here. Minashiro, Soshi, and Kazuki decide to take a little like a hidden rebel hidden hiding place while they try to figure out where the enemy is. And apparently the enemy made a stupid move of, of showing themselves up and let's see here. One of them commits suicide, I think, by swallowing poison. The other one, the other one, gets killed by the human, um, human um, civilians that throws a rock at him, apparently. And the other one gets killed by um, Tomi, I believe. To Tomi Maya. Right before, like, um, I thought Soshi was about to get shot in my end off there, and I'm thinking, my mind, hell no, that is such BS, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. But yeah, you get the point. So, apparently, like, um, it seems like they're still on the run. It seems like humans are still fighting against each other, which is ridiculous. Because if you don't work together and solve the case together, 
y'all are gonna die. That's all I'm gonna say. So I suggest you all wake the f up and try to put aside your differences, ideologies, beliefs, whatever you have, and work together. And then you can, after everything, all that's over, you can deal with your um personal issues later. But they don't understand. They don't just they just don't give two crackalacks about it. You get the point. So here here's how it is, you know. Um the way I could sum it up in a couple of points right here is just like um Kanan the search for Kanan, but apparently her friends realized that she disappeared. Oh yeah, speaking of which, when the island was being swallowed up from my own eyes or perspective, apparently um the there was another message that's hidden in Kanan's hat, apparently. Like maybe a paper. And I'm thinking in my mind, oh my gosh, how come they didn't take a look at that? Dang it, dang it, dang it, dude. Yeah. You get the point. So, the search for Kanon, you know, and the other ha the island attack, and the second half is about um, Kazuki and Soshi being targeted or something, you know? So, yeah. I I forgot to mention about the th about the paper or message in Kanon's hat, dude. Oh my gosh. that th I wonder if that's going to play a certain importance or something. I forgot to mention there's also a model that Kanon left behind. I think it was Alien Hater model, which I don't which I think it is here. Let me take a look. I think it's called the Alien Hater model. I don't know. Like, um... Yeah, it's Alien Haya or something. I don't know how to pronounce it, but... She left that behind before she got assimilated or disappeared, apparently, or died. So, I'm just gonna leave it at that. So, don't know what... I do not know what's gonna happen in the next few episodes, but... Well, we're already uh, we're already got, gotten up to our fifth one. There's only a couple left. I wonder how they're gonna wrap this up because apparently humanity is in danger already. We all realize that. So until then, I'll see you guys later. I'm Alfonso. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye bye.